All right, kids. What we got today on Andy's Dandies is this fine unit right here. We picked it up off of Craigslist. It's a 65 Ford Fairlane. She's a complete car. She needs a little bit of work to fix her up. We're gonna show you that, and we're also gonna show you what we're gonna do on it to fix it up. All right, interior, we're gonna take a quick look here. I've already pulled the Indian blanket off the, off the seat and this little extra pad they had in there for some reason. It's got the original upholstery. Actually don't look too bad. Yeah, it'll have to be redone or we can just throw the blanket back on it. Check it out, we got factory air conditioning underneath the dash there. Definitely an option in 65. Look at the steering wheel, everything is still in pretty damn nice shape. The dash pad, everything's not bad at all there. I think we got some pretty good stuff to work with. Looks like original carpet. I don't know if we can clean that up good enough to reuse it or not, but for a cruiser, I think it'll be fine. Let's take a look in the back seat. All right, back seat. We got a bunch of extra trim pieces, extra grill for the car, although we don't really need it. That could be a sale item there to make us recoup a little bit of our money. For some reason, they've got the two door panels off the front doors. I don't know why, but they're still here. Still look to be in pretty decent shape. Definitely a reusable item, I think. Got a few trim issues to deal with, but let's take a look at our seat here. Pull up the blanket, not bad. Couple of tears, but heck, we might be able to fix that. You know, I think we got a lot to work with here for the money. Take a look at the headliner, not bad at all. Still looks pretty complete. Looks like our lens for the dome is gone, but I'll bet we can find one of those on eBay. But nothing to do with that headliner, I don't think, but clean her up. I think that'll work fine. We've got a couple issues with our trim pieces here gonna have to be reattached and by the new moldings that go around those but I don't think it'll be a big issue okay got the uh, trunk key here get our trunk opened up take a look all right cool got the radiator in the trunk here the guy had already removed it and bonus Got us a C4, early automatic transmission right there. Another recoup on our money. We can fix that, rebuild it and sell it or sell it as a core. Easily get a couple hundred dollars back there of our purchase money. Got some extra trim pieces, headlights, headlight bezels, all extra stuff. Also items that we could possibly sell to recoup some of our money. Looks like it still has the original floor liner in the, in the trunk itself still there very very nice pretty much original car altogether one other bonus that we wanted to point out here i think is the wheels that are on the car car is pretty much all stock factory or whatever but they did put the nice mag wheels what we used to call the Krager sss i believe these have got a us hubcap on them but i think that'll continue to bring a little bit of interest in the car maybe raise the value a little bit and Although they are pretty well oxidized, I'd be willing to bet with a little bit of elbow grease we can polish them babies up, make them look real nice. So I think we'll stay with those. Tires are dry rotted. So obviously they're gonna have to be replaced because that's not gonna be safe to drive, at least not for any kind of distance. All right, let's take a look, see what we got underneath the hood. Badge on the fender says 289. Looks like it. Looks like we still got the original engine. AC condenser for our factory AC unit. We've still got the factory AC compressor. Very, very cool. That's got to be a, a pretty rare option, I would think, in 65. A few pieces taken off the engine, but we've got the radiator and everything to put back in there to give it a try. Take a look. See what we got. Factory two barrel. Looks like it's pretty well unmolested. I think this is going to be a runner. 
I think we can make this run without too much trouble and we're gonna do that. Okay, and now for the ugly. What we haven't shown you yet is right side. Got a little bit of damage over here. I think we're gonna look for another replacement fender to go on there, dress that up a little bit. Door also had some damage here, but we'll talk to our body guy about that. I think that can be straightened out. Be nice to get that all lined up back again. One plus is obviously it didn't hit so bad Hood still closes, our gap is pretty much gone here. But I think with the fender and a little bit of, a little bit of dolly work here, that's gonna be fine because we've still got good, good, pretty good body line here considering that fender is pretty well crushed up. So, And we've got one more to look at at the far back of the car. Probably a little more serious damage in this right rear quarter right at the tail light. Took a good hit here. Also bent our bumper in, so the bumper's gonna have to be replaced. And cool thing about it is, tail light is not cracked, because that's probably gonna be a hard item to find to replace there. So I think we got a little, little tweak right there. Little tweak right there, but it'll be all right. From what they tell me is we need to relieve the stress. Probably gonna end up cutting around this to take the stress off that tail light before we take it out of there. Otherwise, it's likely gonna break when we do remove it. So we'll be careful with that. All right, do a little recap here. Figuring the good on this is that we've got a car that's pretty much complete, although we've got some items like radiator and stuff pulled off of it. Most of the interior is complete. We're gonna have to do a little bit of work on that. The bad being the reassembly that we've got to do that was already taken apart as far as radiator, condenser, and so forth. And the ugly being the body work that's gonna to have to be done. Fender that's gotta be replaced. Right rear quarter most likely is gonna to have to be cut and replaced. We'll have to leave that up to the body shop guy. So I think what we've got here is a pretty good deal on this 65 Ford Fairlane 500. We paid 950 bucks for it. Obviously we've got some work to do, uh, the body work to do, the mechanical work to do. Bonus on this I think being is that we've got the extra trim pieces, the transmission that was in the trunk, all those items can be sold to recoup some of our money. All in all on this, I think we've got a good deal. I think what we can do here is offer you some more video. So if you keep watching, stay tuned, uh, subscribe to our channel here. We're gonna have a lot more on this car and more to come, and I think you'll enjoy it. And as a bonus, if you're lucky, you might even learn something.